going on? My name is Steven Taylor, and we are going to talk about the Zildjian FX Stacks series, which I'm really excited about. Give some really cool and interesting color options to your symbol palette. So with these, there's quite a few sizes, so it's gonna take just a second to talk about them. I'm gonna do a lot of playing and let you hear what they sound like, let you see how many options they have. Now they all come in a box just like this. They come with, obviously, the top and the bottom, depending on how, how you want to use them. Uh, so two different symbols and then uh, a symbol. Now a symbol's really cool and I'll, I'll just kinda go into that right now. So here we have, this is the 10 inch. So they come in eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch and 16 inch. And I've got the eight inch here, the 10 inch is gonna go over here, 12 inch, 14 inch, and 16 inch. And uh, the this one, the one with the holes in it, is the traditional alloy uh, that they use for the symbols. Now the bottom one, or you could use it as the top, it, there's no rules with this, uh, the silver one is just a mild steel. So it allows for a real quick and a real raw type of a sound for an effects. Now, the other thing that comes with this is the symbol, and that's how you mount them. Now, they can, they're can they all made to be uh, to where you can mount them as a hi-hat, as an auxiliary hi-hat on a hi-hat clutch, but the symbol allows you to also mount them on just a regular uh, crash symbol stand. It comes with four different felts, uh, or four felts, and so if you wanted to mount them cup to cup, for a quicker sound like this, it'll allow you to tighten that up, and if you would rather mount them uh, like a traditional hi-hat, it's big enough that it'll go all the way through there and you can do that. What the cymbals also do is they allow you for really quick uh, adjustments to the sound. So if you want a real tight sound, or if not, you can pull it off the cymbal stand and you can loosen them very quickly and you have a looser sound. Something I was concerned with when I first looked at them, but that was quickly put to ease was, are these threads gonna hold? Like, is this bolt gonna unscrew on the bottom? It doesn't, I've been playing on them for quite a while, pretty hard, and it doesn't come undone. These threads are really solid and really tight. So don't be concerned about that, but you just put them together and then you place them on any traditional uh, cymbal stand, just like that. This one's mounted with a cymbal, as well as these two. This one's mounted with a cymbal, and this one's mounted with a traditional hi-hat clutch. Let's check out what they sound like. Again, I've got the eight inch, the 10 inch, the 12 inch, the 14 inch, and the six inch. We'll try them first, all tight and pretty tight in a hi-hat type of a setting, and then I'll loosen them up for a looser sound. Another great thing about these is you have a lot of options as far as how to stack them. So you can stack them with regular symbols. You can use the symbol to stack other symbols instead of just the stacks. So the symbol is, is really a cool thing uh, as far as using it with other symbols. You can stack with the, uh, the one with the holes on the top. You can stack with the one with the holes on the bottom. You can do it opposite where the holes are on the bottom of a high. You can turn it over like this. You can also stack different sizes together. You can stack more than two 
with the with as long as the symbol does. So there's a lot of options. Just snagging one set of these gives you because of the symbol and because of the obviously two different symbols here. So it's it's really a, a cool way to go about adding um, a lot of colors to your lineup very, very quickly just by snagging one set of these. In the end, it really doesn't matter what I think, it matters what you think. All of these are simply to serve you as the artist and to help your voice come through to give you more color options to be able to paint within the music with. So go out, try them for yourself, listen, and then decide if they're right for you and your playing.